Hello everyone, my name is Shoes. Welcome back to another video here on Planet Zoo where we are building our franchise at the Katahdin Zoo. Now, I'm going to go over a few things while uh, I'm doing this little speed build thing. So first off, I just want to mention that we do have a Discord channel for those of you who have not joined yet. It is in the description below. Come join us, leave me some suggestions, and just interact with the community. Secondly, I just wanted to mention how these videos are shorter than others, mainly because we are unable to gain conservation credits pretty fast, so I've been really trying to work on that as quickly as possible. Therefore, we made a reptile exhibit building in this video and we're going to be doing a speed build of that and I'll go over some things when we get to that point in time. But we're going to get straight into things so I will talk to you guys later. Alright so so far we've been just continuing, I've been managing my animals a lot. The problem with this game is that I want to do all these creative builds all at once but it's kind of difficult when you have to keep going back and forth between the Nile monitors and the Warthogs so I had to make sure their enrichment items were up to date, which they are. So that being said, toward the front I made the Katahdin Zoo sign. I like how it looks, but at the same time there's just something a little bit off with it. And I think it's really just how the letters are kind of thrown on there. So the more that we look at it, the worse. So I'm going to pretend like that's not an issue right now, but I will fix it at some point. But then we built our uh, small restroom over here, of which no people have used yet. And it's open. So. I guess people are just not staying long enough at our zoo, which means we need to find more animals. And it's getting really difficult. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, sorry, we have two Nile monitors now, so we can produce babies. But over here, um, one problem that we're dealing with is that we have enough land for our warthogs. However, we need more hard shelter for them. Now, the problem is I really like this because it gives a lot of open space in the front and it doesn't like doesn't cover up a whole lot of uh, you know like additional open land for them to roam around at so that's the only part that's wrong about this habitat but they are at a solid B rating for their area so I'm not going to stress out too much about that but at some point since they are producing a lot of other warthogs we will need to uh, extend this habitat in some sort of way and it seems like there's a lot of rain in the United States, it does not rain this much in temperate zones, but it seems like it rains more than 50% of the time. So that's the problem too, is like every time I try to like do like the speed build of a building, it either gets dark outside or it's raining. But I like how this building came out uh, for the most part, a little bit more on the metal side, but I didn't want it all wooden. We're gonna keep working with certain things and do some more speed builds. I think I may do some sort of like snake house over here. Um, so we'll do some sort of uh, exhibit area. So I'm going to work on that and I'll see you guys in the next few minutes or something like that. Alright, so here we are. We are building our snake house. Now our snake house is being made out of a glass building and that other piece that I don't know what it is but it matches with the glass set. So like those white walls right there is what I'm you know talking about. Now beforehand I wanted to build a log cabin or like a modern like log cabin building but it wasn't working out I couldn't find the right roofing pieces and I couldn't figure out the shape of the building nonetheless we used these glass pieces and I really like how the glass roof came out it kind of worked for more of like a greenhouse type feel although that really wasn't what I was going for but it still kind of ended out like pretty nice now the only problem with the building was is that the exhibit buildings you cannot build on the grid right next to them so you have to bump it out a little bit so that's why the walls are slightly bumped out otherwise they kind of blend together and part of the exhibit sticks out of the building so therefore I have to add some pillars and then I also add some little mending pieces that kind of whatever those are right there that I'm using for the uh, roof uh, up against the walls is what I'm using to make sure there's no holes in the side otherwise there's holes in the side of the building I really like how this building came out and the interior was the part that really made the building so much better. Now, in the middle of the building, I had this plan where I would, was gonna have a middle exhibit, but really didn't end up working out the way I wanted it to uh, because of the pathing structure. Plus, I didn't want the path to stay the same as it did outside, so therefore I decided to make a floor instead. So it's a concrete floor, 
and I have to end up splitting it from the building so it actually ends up working. Now, it was a big open space. I wanted to figure out what else I could do with it. So I decide to take out a path right in the middle and I decide to put some sort of planter in the middle and add a uh, what ends up being a birch tree. Uh, but of course, the biggest thing that we need to focus on is getting these snakes into our exhibits. So, so far we have all these snakes in the game, unless if I missed one, but so far that is five. Other than that, there's really nothing else to go over, so I'm gonna go back to past me, and we're gonna finish off this video. So, it's getting dark out, so apologies, but we have all our snakes in here, they're all happy. The front of the building looks kinda plain right now. However, once you come in, very nice little uh, presentation area. It's all our fun little stuff. Hopefully protesters will leave soon because everyone is now happier in their exhibits. But I'm gonna have to do some research and this is bringing a lot more people to our zoo and will hopefully increase uh, you know, donations and stuff like that. But that means also our education. Uh, so that means I have to add plaques everywhere and really customize this building some more. So we didn't do a whole lot today except for make the exhibit building. We did a little bit more decorating. I'm gonna do some more off camera. Uh, so I thank you guys for watching and be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more and help me out and hit subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.